Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. I thought I'd come on this Friday evening and bring you guys a tarot and oracle message. Let's have a look into the energy. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux. Let's pull some cards and then I'll read from the book. Okay, I'll tell them what I see, yes? Okay. As you guys can't see the cards, you're all in the dark. I'll tell you what I see. I see the Queen of Swords. Now she speaks the truth. Why does she speak the truth? Because she's here to help you evolve and be all that you're here to be. Okay, there's a beautiful peacock here with this Queen of Swords. And um, she's here to help you not only reach your full potential, but to know and show it. It's like, it's know and show day. <laughs> not show and tell, know and show. Know and show day for you. <clears throat> And then we have the world. Wow. This is a, there's a feminine here coming out of the world, which is actually the third eye, but it's turned on its side. Looks a bit like a vagina. <laughs> um, and there's a spark here. Um, she's igniting a spark. So she's birthing. She's birthing this, it's like she's birthing this new idea for you. Okay, that you're to give birth to. And very beautiful card there. This feminine coming out of the world. And then we've got the King of Cups. So the Queen of Swords is talking to the King of Cups here. And he um, he has his crown on, but he's looking really quite serious. Um, like directly at me. And in front of him is the Ace of Cups. Okay. He looks tired. And worn out really i feel as if like um he's tired of fighting the sharks he's tired of fighting this i was gonna say this connection but it's like this misconnection he's missing this connection and he's been uh he's been lying to himself saying that he doesn't miss it so this is about reigniting the spark. Okay. And the third eye being opened. The Divine Masculine's third eye. So I feel like the Divine Feminine here is saying to the Divine Masculine, it's time to give birth to this idea. It's time to reignite the spark. Okay. Why? Because I feel like he is a bright spark. He's a peacock here. Bottom of the deck is the Justice card. We have the feminine here, all dressed in red. Uh, she's got a blindfold on and she's holding the scales in front of her and in each scale is a flame. Behind her is the Sword of Truth and then there's a feather. Okay, and the feather's just as big as a sword. Interesting. I spoke about the Queen of Swords. What does she do? She tells the truth for your own personal growth, for your own evolution. Okay, so I felt that she's soft as a feather. There's no harshness to this Queen of Swords. She's not here to do harm. She's here. She's here to help the good. And you are good, Divine Masculine. You are good, King of Cups. You are good, King of Cups. Okay. Well, let's have a look and see what the... I was going to read from the book, wasn't I? Queen of Swords. Let's do that first and then we're going to go to the unicorns. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords has a sharp mind but also a playful sense of humour evident in her half-smile. She is committed to seeing and speaking the truth but is not judgmental. Along with her beautiful peacock, she radiates positive energy. Okay. That's really nice, Divine Masculine. Along with her beautiful peacock, along with you, you are good. You are positive. It's good energy. Along with her beautiful peacock, she radiates positive energy. 
So there's no need to fear the divine feminine. I was going to say there's no need to fear the divine masculine. There's no need to fear each other. Okay. It's like I'm not afraid anymore. Let's go to uh, the world card. The world card signifies the integration of elements, the coming together of parts to form a whole. This card shows a galactic nubula, the stars, excuse me, coalesce to form, I don't think I've said that word um, correctly, and Jasper is really having a gnaw on his paw here. <laughs> the card shows a galactic nubula, the stars coalesce to form the traditional depicted shape of the yoni, which along with the golden earthly sphere serendipitously depicts an eye when the card is viewed on its side. The four evangelist figures, lion, bull, cherub and eagle, depicted in each corner, correspond to the four fixed signs of the zodiac, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius and Scorpio. Okay. King of Cups. It's like I want to apologise for my mispronunciations because this King of Cups is a bright spark. He kind of knows the stuff that the Divine Feminine doesn't know, but then the Divine Feminine knows the stuff that he doesn't know. Okay, good pair to come together. Great knowledge now, combined. Let's go to the King of Cups here. I was very distracted by Jasper. It's like he's biting his nails anyway. <laughs> okay, King of Cups. You do look a bit tired, concerned weary the king of cups reigns over the watery realm with the diplomacy and compassion or with diplomacy and compassion he leaves no doubt that he is in charge but all who visit his realm are made to feel welcome and accepted so all that visit his realm seem welcome and accepted okay but does this masculine feel welcome and accepted in this divine feminine's realm? It feels the energy here of, it's like he's waiting for the divine feminine to come to him. It's like she's welcomed. Um, I don't believe that she's aware of that. You're most definitely welcomed in her realm. Okay, but it does feel the energy here about who is it that will... Uh, reconnect the spark okay let's go to the journey of love because i feel the energy of the divine masculine kind of saying you are welcome in his realm um <clears throat> but he's kind of nervous uh about approaching you let's have a look let's see what the journey of love would like to say The communal dance. Card number five. Lover, you have been alone too long. It's just the itching. <laughs> when I said uh, I'm not afraid anymore, it took me to uh, Home Alone. So I'm Kevin from Home Alone. I'm not afraid anymore. Lover, you have been alone too long. Your community calls you to surrender your isolation for this moment in time and instead join the cosmic conga line. I do feel they're talking to you, Divine Masculine. Okay, to join the Divine Feminine's line, her conga line. Do you know how special you are? So much that this community would not be the same without you. Your individuality and uniqueness can only enhance this group of souls that calls you to dance with them. Men and women, human and spirit, heaven and earth. Your community is vast and rich and has much to share with you. Be lifted in celebration of belonging. 
recognise that you are part of something great? Can your heart grow warm with recognition? You belong. You are meant to be a part of this great dance of love awakening on the earth. Your heart is already beating to the rhythm of the music. What did I say at the beginning? It was about know and tell. No. <laughs> no and no and tell, no and show. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, it's like show and tell day, but it wasn't. No and show, no and show. This oracle brings you guidance. You are being drawn into a new community that is more aligned with your innate spiritual vibration. You'll feel more at home there. And you'll be able to share your gifts and talents more freely and with greater support. Let go of relationships or situations that have been holding, that you have been holding on to out of fear. If you are meant to continue, if you are meant to continue, it says if they are meant to continue with you, they will remain. If not, they will fall away, creating space for new connections to come into your life now. This is not a time to hide in what you have known, but to be open to playful connection with kindred spirits soon to be met. Let's read the poem. When I stood in front of you, I knew something was in store. I could feel the excitement of our journey ahead, for I had been that way before. Each person comes into our life with lessons we may see, and in the reflection of that other self, is the person we can be. That's beautiful. I've got the lovers oracle here. Uh, I did have, where have they gone? <laughs> They've gone walkabouts. No, they haven't, they're here. Let's have a look at the message. Oh, we've got a couple of messages. The first one is, love is like a storm. It is fresh and cleansing. It is natural and essential. It is powerful and fulfilling and nothing can get in its way. And then we have, if each time I thought of you were a flower, I could walk in my garden forever. I feel you're both vibing on the same vibe here. You're both in this very positive state of wanting each other, but a fear of, of approaching each other. Okay. It's like someone has to step up and step forward. <clears throat> Let's go to Rumi. We'll finish with a Rumi message and see what Rumi would like to say regarding this situation. Okay, and the card is, I surge on the uprising wave of love. Card number five. My life can be summoned up in three accounts. I was raw, I was cooked and I was burned, Rumi. I surge on the uprising wave of love. No gravity can stop me from rising. The moon pulls the tide of life towards her and my soul in oneness with all of life answers her call. A wave of love consumes me and upwards I fly flying through water to greet her shining body. Led by my heart, my wits are idled and my mind becomes a blurry mess. And so I feel instead, feel the truth of her love and the divine reflection she shines back at me from her radiant heart. Greater forces of planetary movements affect our soul. We experience day and night through the interplay of the earth, sun and moon. This is a profound and obvious effect. The movements of the cosmos affect us deeply, body and soul. Some movements are perhaps less obvious in form, but are just as great, if not more so, in effect upon our spiritual growth and life experiences. You are going through a cycle, or very soon will be, by which you will be moved by forces greater than your own personal will. This is a karmic period, a time during which the movements of greater planetary bodies will have an impact upon the earth and humanity. This is the way of things, greater cycles affecting smaller ones. The smaller ones are not less important, but they do have to bow to the power of the great in oneness with the magnificent unfolding divinity that is life itself. 
What we always have at our disposal is choice as to how we respond to these effective movements and cycles. The effect of this karmic cycle now unfolding in your life is to bring you into sweet surrender and awakening into greater love. What a delicious divine destiny. Okay, Jasp, so irritated. <laughs> However, even if we sense at one level that a shift has a positive end in store for us, we can encounter resistance and fear, born of the ego, in response to the stirring of spiritual uprising. We may quake in our holy body and wonder if everything is getting out of control and into some disorder. We will be right in our sense of imminent chaos. The disorder, however, is the ego perspective because its range of vision is too small, too limited, to comprehend the greater workings of the planetary systems that move life towards love. That is as it should be. The teacup is not made to hold the ocean, just actually a cup of tea. But if we begin to imagine that the, that the cup of tea is preferable to the ocean, simply because it is more containable, how much we miss out on. And how terrifying when we're actually thrown into the ocean and moved by it. It's sheer power, it's wild force, and its passionate dance with the moon mother might have us fearing that we most certainly will die. Yet the only thing that is dying here and now is your grasp, your attempts at control. Why? Because your heart is more powerful than your fear and it wants to live in total trust and surrender of the unfoldment of life's genius. It wants to let life happen to it. What a wise intention that is. Why seek to impose a smaller and less interesting story upon life when the great master storyteller is weaving a fantastic tale of great love, great adventure and sublime spiritual success? No, it is wiser, wilder and more fun to surf the great wave of consciousness seeking to overtake you now. Dive in, beloved. Surge with it. You are being given the gift of grace in this oracle. The promise that you won't drown that you will, in fact, be given a glimpse of your, own of your own divinity, should you choose to accept whatever will be offered to you. Don't try to swim against the tide of your own life journey. Go with it. The divine is there waiting for you, orchestrating waves upon which you may reach the heavenly shore. Yes, the divine is there waiting for you, waiting on a picnic blanket of fabric of the heavens, with a sacred feast of earthly bounty, just now being unpacked in your honour. Get yourself into that ocean and ride those waves to your sacred date with the divine right now, sweet beloved, surfs up. Okay, Jasper, I think enough's enough now. This oracle comes with a message for you. <clears throat> This oracle comes with a message for you. There are changes happening and they will be out of your control. This is because you are ready for accelerated life change. Rather than paddling, you'll be caught up in a wave and moved farther, faster. Let yourself surge, let yourself surge on with the energy of what is happening, leading with your heart and just going with whatever unfolds. This will bring you the best fortune and open you up to the divine destiny that is your birthright this lifetime. And that, I think, is the end of your reading. Guys, I'll catch up with you soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.